the idea of mass in everyday life and in our culture just appealed to me because every morning any one of us gets up out of bed and puts on a suit or something and goes to work, we're essentially adopting a different identity and the idea of actually putting on the mask to go out to the public and transforming one's own identity really just intrigued me. Hi, my name is Sherry Hill. I am a mixed media artist. I do a lot of painting and constructions with papers and stuff. I am also a practicing architect. I have been playing with the idea of transitioning 2D painting or art into some kind of a 3D construction. I started making these masks about two years ago, but the ideas have been sort of simmering in my head for a long time. I have this computer box. Um, I break it down into sheets, then I cut out the shapes and I might score them to make three-dimensional forms, glue them together to tape them together. So that's the basis of the form of the mask. Then I paint them all black. The black works because ultimately I'm going to be using very colorful color papers and black shows up those colors much better. When I do art, a lot of times I don't have a specific idea of what I want to create, but I have sort of an idea on the direction to, in which I want to work. So it's partly planned and partly not planned. There was a piece in about the gay marriage, immigration issues, and the building of walls and our, on our borders. And I started thinking about how it takes just a little bit of a switching of your perspective to change your worldview. And so there were two masks that were made during that time. One was called the wall, and it has a kind of a wall in the middle with two different faces facing opposite of each other. And the other one is called a slight shift in attitude. And that was one half of the mask, just a little bit different from the other half. So those two masks actually started out with a idea. Part of the fun of making these masks is that once I start making something, the masks grow themselves. They become, they adopt personalities. I think most artists are collectors by heart, and perhaps they are artists because they do see beauty in things that would otherwise be in the dumpster. I do try to see in each item the positive use for it. I am a preservationist, period, so I save things like shipping boxes and just anything that I see and look at and thought, well, I could probably use that somewhere. The shipping containers came because we had to replace a bunch of computers at all at the same time, and when the mass idea finally gelled, the boxes were perfect because the shipping containers for computers are particularly strong. I grew up in Taiwan, and I lived there until I was 13 years old. Um, it's when I moved to the United States. And I think most artists are the same. They create art that's that come out of themselves. We took a trip back to Taiwan for the first time in 2012. That was a huge influence in the art that I started doing once I came back. That trip brought back a lot of memories and a lot of associations, a lot of feelings that I think added to my work. When the plane landed in Taiwan, it was like boom. All the smell, all the food, all the sights and the colors, and maybe the mask was really influenced by all that sensory stimulation that I felt. Mm -hmm.